Uh, we're not really seeing options as to how to do these tests. We're on one track. Tuesday's vote is to approve the first 12 million of a more than $222 million loan from the Texas Water Development Board. The TWDB approved the city through its State Water Implementation Fund for Texas, or SWIFT. District 5 City Councilman Gil Hernandez voted against applying for the loan, and he's voting against accepting it. I'm not against desal. Uh, I think desal is an option. It's just the way we're doing it, it has some questions to it. Hernandez's concerns stem from the fact the city only got one estimate on construction costs. You wouldn't have major surgery without a second opinion, no matter how good the doctor is you're working with. You wouldn't buy a car without doing some price comparisons. Based on other desal plants, Hernandez believes the cost will be much higher. He also says the average water customer will see a $2 month increase to help repay the loan. That's on top of increases planned to cover the city's consent decree with the Environmental Protection Agency. That puts a lot of pressure on the on the utility bill and I wanna make sure we're not doing more harm to our, our ratepayers than, than, than needs to be done. There are also environmental concerns, specifically, the brine which will be discharged into the channel. The secret to this is dilution, like it is with many things. If you can dilute that brine uh, quickly, then you minimize potential impact. In a statement, the city says it, quote, has spent years collaborating with the community and carefully planning this project. In Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.